My name is Dado Valentic and I'm a colorist and color scientist living and working in Los Angeles. I started as an engineer working for Apple and then later for Sony and then I founded my own company called My Therapy, an award-winning post-production facility in London that was well known in the industry for its ability to tackle some of the most challenging situations when it comes to processing of digital cameras. My name is Steve Bays and I've spent my career working in the post-production industry to enable creativity through some of the emerging technology that has come about over the last 30 years, starting with the personal computer and nonlinear editing technology, all the way from the Avid Media Composer and Avid Symphony to Final Cut and Final Cut 10. And uh, over that 20 year period, I have consistently wanted to make the interfaces easier and more approachable for the creative person so that you can spend more time on the narrative, on the emotions, on the messaging, and not on uh, wrangling the data and worrying about where your media is and uh, exporting versions and that sort of thing. So, I mean, how can we make that faster, easier, better so that you spend your creative time on things that, that you're good at and let the computers do what they're good at? I'm Mark Peterson. I've worked in the film and television industry for over 30 years. I'm a technologist and an evangelist and cheerleader for new tools and technologies in our industry. In 2003, I co-founded a company in New York City called Off Hollywood, which was a boutique to provide production and post-production services to independent filmmakers. I became the first customer of Red Digital Cinema by buying the very first two Red One cameras. I very quickly became a loud voice in their online community. One of the people I met through that online community was colorist Dado Valentic. Dado and I hit it off right away, and I was very impressed with some of the techniques and some of his ideas for post-production workflows. I'm certain that every colorist at some point in their life must have asked himself if there is a way to automate the process of color grading. My desire was to find a way how artificial intelligence could help assist colorists in that process and make it more automated and faster. Three years ago, I got introduced by Google to very early digital image processing systems that were using artificial intelligence. As a first step, we had to understand why current automatchers didn't work. And the reason for that is that computers see images completely different than humans do. So, what we had to do first is build a machine that is going to analyze images based on laws of human perception and simulate the work of human visual cortex. The AI, because it's so much better than a preset, will analyze each of these individual uh, images that are coming from these different cameras and, uh, and do what you need to do to, to max that out or, and match it. A preset's just not going to work. And that was my first question when I saw the demo from Dotto. Is like, you've got really good presets. And, uh, and, and he's, you know, he's like, these are not presets. You know, this is, this is an advanced um, algorithm. And we programmed all this, this intelligence into it. And, and the proof is really when you, when you use it on the multiple cameras, you see it right away. You just couldn't do that before. Um, so that, uh, that's what really made me excited about this technology, made me want to uh, become an investor. When I finally got to see what Dotto had been working on for the past two years, I knew immediately that I had to be involved and that it really truly was something that would have a profound impact on the color correction industry. I came aboard as the COO and put together a team of software engineers based in the United States with expertise in GPU acceleration and artificial intelligence. We are able to analyze every frame of footage that we are matching and based on that analysis come up with the closest match that the colorist would have done and then communicate that decision by a common color decision language list or simply by moving the controls in the right position. I saw the Color Labs application and I could see that that was a continuation of what I've been doing my whole career, which is taking something that's complex, that's time consuming and expensive and turning it into a product that's faster, easier to use and is consistent. 
I wanted not only to invest but to stay on as a technical advisor and help focus them and have discussions about where the market was going and where the best uh, result would be the, the most good that we could do with this product and uh, how to uh, put together that first release in a short period of time, get it to market, make it robust, make it compelling. Originally our system has required specially built machines for artificial intelligence in order to run our code. But I am so proud of an achievement that our engineering team had by moving that code onto Apple platform and accelerating it by using Core ML and Metal 2. Not only were we able to accelerate our processing 20 times, but also we have managed to bring this fantastic technology to any Apple platform. What that means is that this product is not going to be limited any longer to large media enterprises, but to smaller companies and freelancers alike. The AI aspect of it is it looks at the image, it decides based on the criteria that's been programmed by experts like Dotto and Mark, like what do we need to do to this image, this particular image that is going to make it look amazing? And how can I continue to do that on a consistent basis for all of the shots for that scene or from that day uh, in a fraction of the time that it would take a human to do it? Still taking some, some human input, we're gonna set some references, we're gonna make some tweaks, but ultimately it's just gonna do this amazing batch processing using artificial intelligence. Thank <laughs> you.